Hi. So we have this week's daily geography. We are on week eight. Looks like this. It says a Mercator projection map. So that's pronounced Mercator. Kind of like you have an English accent. Mercator. Okay, so I'm starting on this page and I'm doing the reading following along with this. Introducing the map. Refer back to week seven, a Robinson projection map. To review projections with students, expand the discussion to include another kind of projection called a Mercator projection map. As the students look at the projection map, share the following information with the students. Gerardus Mercator was a Flemish geographer and map maker. He introduced his projection map in the 1500s. That was a long, long time ago. In the Mercator projection map, the parallels and meridians appear as straight lines. This method proved to be accurate for showing direction, but the land and water areas are greatly distorted toward the north and south poles. So that means that they're not showing how they actually look um, on the actual planet. In, all, in other words, the areas near the North and South Poles look much larger than they actually are on Earth. So they look a lot bigger, but they're not. Um, have students look at Greenland. On the Mercator projection, Greenland looks larger than South America. Actually, South America is more than eight times larger than Greenland. So let's look for Greenland. So North America's here. Eh, that's kind of hard to see. North America's here. Greenland is here. So it looks like Greenland is much bigger than South America, but it's truly not. South America is eight times larger than Greenland actually is. So that's what's the up in the North Pole. It looks a lot larger than it should be because of this Mercator projection map. How students compare the Robinson and Mer Mercator projection maps. Talk about how the Robinson projection accurately shows the shape and size of the continents, but that the Mercator projection is easier to use to find coordinates because the lines of latitude and longitude appear straight, not curved. So that's the difference between this Mercator map and the Robinson projection map from last week, was that on the Robinson projection map, the lines looked, whoops, the lines looked like this. So they're not straight down, because the farther out you go, the more curved, the more curved it is, sorry, the the more curved it is. Okay, so here on the Mercator projection map, it's they're all straight, they're all parallel to each other. Have students find the la latitude of for the contiguous United States on both the Mercator and Robinson projection maps. We're just going to focus on the Mercator map. They should be able to conclude that most of the United States is more clearly defined between 30 degrees north and 45 degrees north. So it's saying find the United States. So we know the United States is in North America, right? We should all know that by now. Okay. So here's the United States right where North America is. So that it's kind of goes past the these lines, but they're most most of North America is right here. 45 degrees north and 30 degrees north, okay? Try other locations on the Mercator projection map before proceeding with this week's lesson. That's all we'll need to do, actually, because we have a short week this week. So introducing vocabulary. Coordinates. The latitude and longitude address of a place on a map. Equator. An imaginary line that runs around the center of Earth halfway between the North and South Poles. Zero degrees latitude. Geographic grid. The intersecting pattern formed by the lines of latitude and longitude. 
lines of latitude. Parallels are imaginary lines on the Earth that run parallel to the equator. So parallel means the lines that never touch. They're all going in the same direction. Lines of longitude, meridians, imaginary lines that run between the north and south poles. Prime meridian, an imaginary line that runs from the north pole to the south pole at zero degrees longitude. Projection, a system for mapping the round earth on a flat surface. So we know the earth is not flat and we know that the earth is round, but when we we can't go out into outer space and always look at the Earth and see what directions we're going to use. So we have different geographers that have created maps that we can use to help us figure out how our Earth works, how our planet works, and how to get around it. Okay, so now I am on this side, the week 8 page where it has the map. So it says Mercator projection map, the world. So along here, along the top, are all of the different degrees. So prime meridian at zero degrees. And then each way, it'll go every 30 degrees, okay? So it goes zero, 30 east, 60 east, 90 east, 120 east, 150 east, 180 east, and then going the opposite direction, back on the prime meridian, zero degrees, oops, goes 30 west, 60 west, 120 west, 150 west, 180 west. And then going up and down, we have zero degrees for the equator, and then 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and then up here it looks a lot larger, but it's not that big. So these are north and these are inter intervals of 15. So each time it goes 15 more than the last one. So then back at equator and then going south, we have 15 degrees south, 30 degrees south, 45 degrees south, um, 60 degrees south, 75 degrees south. And then this bot it stops right here. And then down here it looks a lot larger than it should be. So then down at the bottom of the map, it says... A projection is a system for mapping the round Earth on a flat surface. The Merc Mercator projection map shows the accurate locations of the continents and oceans, the land and water areas. However, the land and water areas, however, are greatly distorted toward the north and south poles. And then it has kind of like a little question over here. I think that might be the challenge question. The United States is located on these two hemispheres blank. I talked about this earlier and it says that on the um, on the main reading page we decided that they were between 30 degrees north and 45 degrees north. Okay, so I wrote that in. So now let's look at Monday number one. What is a projection? So that's kind of like asking me for a definition. So you can go over to the vocabulary words and find the word projection and write down the definition. Or you can go back and reread this paragraph. Both of those have the answer for Monday number one. Monday number two. Does the Mercator projection show the size, shape, or location? of the continents more accurately on a map? So your answer is one of those three. So it's either size or shape or location. So does the Mercator projection map show the size, shape, or location of the continents more accurately on a map? So I would go back if you're having, if you're stuck on that one and you can't remember what you read, I would say go back and reread over here. Okay, Tuesday number one. Do the land areas around the north and south poles appear smaller or larger in size than they really are? So your answer is one of those two. Your answer is either 
oh sorry your answer is either smaller or larger so do the land areas in the north so up here in the north and then in the south poles is it shown more sm larger or smaller if you're having trouble finding that I would say I was going to say look for it on the front page, but that one doesn't really say it very specifically. So, you will need to go back and reread this paragraph for Tuesday number one to find the answer. Tuesday number two. Which continent appears much wider than it really is compared to the other continents? Okay, so there is. We have continents, right? So that's North America, Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, Antarctica, Australia. So there are seven continents, and there's one of those that is shown a much, much, much more wider than it actually is in real in real life. Okay, so you're going to have to look at these. So it's shown wider. So don't get confused with if it's shown larger. Because I remember the text had talked about Greenland being larger, looking like it's larger than South America, but Greenland is not a continent. Greenland is part of North America, okay? So, which of these seven looks like it's a lot wider than it actually is, okay? All right, and that is your daily geography for this week since we have a short week. So once you have answered Tuesday, Monday, number one and two, Tuesday, number one and two, you need to turn in your daily geography. Okay, awesome job.